Hello, welcome to a quick um, IT wildcard video. Well, it should be quick anyway, that's the plan. So, the morning that I'm recording this video, the reason why I'm sort of doing this is I have Google Alerts set up to basically send me an email whenever a there's a programming language article or the word programming language is used on InfoWorld. And that's what happened this morning is I got something about Gleam, a programming language I haven't heard before. And my interest was piqued is because it's crossed that line into first stable release. And I always think it's actually useful if anybody's interested in sort of diversifying in the languages that they know, is to keep an eye on all those languages that are crossing that line between being unstable or you know, just you know, crossing the line over into being a st the first stable release um, and just keep an eye on what's out there maybe kicking the tires on language unfortunately I don't really have time to do that with this language because it could interfere with other stuff that I'm doing at the moment because I'm at the moment knee deep in Ruby um, but no doubt I'll probably if I got a bit of spare time at the weekend I might kick the tires on this and have a play around with some stuff I'm going to mention so yeah I don't know much about it but I thought it'd be useful to just put it out there see if anybody watching the channel has heard of it already um, I'll include links to all of these tabs I've got open so if you are curious and you want to read more because I'm not going to cover much in this particular video you can so the article itself has lots of you know links to other articles um, and both inside of InfoWorld and external to it some of which I've already got up here actually um, so let's dive in and have a have a quick look and see what we can glean about Gleam okay so version 1 is finally here so this was published on the 4th of March 2024 so this video is being recorded on the 7th just just for reference and it'll probably go out the following week um, from that at some point in the week so it says today Gleam version 1.00 has been released this is the first stable release language more on what that means later and a big milestone in the ecosystem it has been a long journey and I'm proud of both technology and the community that we've built here with Gleam thank you so much to everyone that has taken part in any way you've all contributed to the project getting here in meaningful ways of all sizes so and there's a little bit about you know what gleam is the sort of philosophy behind it as i said interesting that you know you've got erlang virtual machine so somewhere behind all of this um i'm assuming there are other um things that you might recognize it's a community project apparently okay we have a we have a con uh, a mascot called Lucy yeah so let's see what else um so these are some of the links in the original article that I just pulled up so this is really cool um I really love these um, language tour things I'm seeing these appear more and more so what's nice is you get two parts to this well three parts actually is you have um, the content the contents over here of the language tour so it'll sort of take you through the different contexts and explain them and then over here you get to sort of play around with stuff and it runs it down here so sometimes there's deliberate errors in here you might notice as you're going through um, stuff might uh, deliberately go wrong I think there's one in a moment so yeah if we do what it says here so if we uncomment this boom we get an error why do we get an error well it actually explains already in here compile time error it says reported as the io print in fact, it works only on strings and not ints to fix the code change the code to call the io debug function instead as it will print a value of any type um, also the nice thing with this is you can completely ignore the instructions and go well what happens if I actually do give it a string okay so 
yeah, we've got auto complete here, so that's always annoying. There we go, we can do that. Oh, I'm assuming even better. I wonder if we can do this. I have not not much knowledge of the language, so I'm just diving straight in here. Let me just go back. Does it give me any clues about how to define variables? Probably not. Um, yeah, I'm really flying by the seat of my pants here. So if I was to do this, would it care? Let me just do um, S. equals how does it handle string literals oh must be a let binding cool okay so good old let so if I do this and do this yeah cool okay so this is fully functional so you can really mess about in here um, in well within the limits obviously of what well yeah I don't want to if I took I'm assuming if I took, just took good old good old this and pasted it somewhere else. It doesn't have to be this one, but why not? Is it going to do that? Oh, I've got that twice. That's why I didn't need that. Yep. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Anyway, so yeah. So this looks like fun. So you can play around within this. This obviously is is not you know obviously there's limitations i'm assuming here what do we got here oh dark mode good we like dark mode i'm trying to remember that quote from the hobbit something for dark work something i don't know um yeah excellent oh dear i better yeah this is going to be I don't really want to rechange, rechange around what I've got planned for today, so I better better stop now. But yeah, so I'll include a link to that. Um, yep, so we can just... It looks like a pretty simple uh, web address, yeah. Okay, good. We've got the... Um, uh, we've got Gleam on, on GitHub. It's up on GitHub. So there we go. Assuming if you need to compile it, I don't know, yeah, I, don't, I haven't dug down much, so I don't know whether there's, um, like, what the different distributions are and things like that. So anyway, but there, there's the, uh, there it is on GitHub, so it's something else that's worth exploring. Got some documentation stuff as well. Stuff about the package, clean package index. Cool. And then back to this, so this is actually the main the main website so news community sponsor packages docs code and then try gleam which takes you to the bit we were messing about with originally and then one other thing because i only, i found this out because i obviously searched on youtube to find out you know whether there are any videos already and yes there are because uh, obviously it's been out prior to being a stable release but i did notice one of the videos was quite a pretty good video from um Exorcism, which is this site I've I sort of dabble with, been doing a bit of Ruby on here, and a few other things, and they do have Gleam here. They have a learning mode for Gleam, so you can use this as well, and this is really cool. If you've never used uh, Exorcism before, I actually log in using my uh, GitHub account just to do that, keep things fairly simple. But yeah, it's, uh, another resource that's really cool. Anyway. Just hopefully that's given, you know, sort of piqued your interest. And uh, I thought, I'd, yeah, I just decided to release this under the IT wildcard banner because uh, it's an interesting thing to find out about. And I didn't really want it, um, uh, what's the word, um, causing uh, learn to code, code to learn, sort of go off message. And people go, well, hang on, wasn't he talking about Ruby uh, this month? Or over the next four weeks so yeah no i'm still on the ruby train um still, yeah oh, that wasn't that wasn't intended i'm just on the yeah, ruby rails ruby on rails but yeah still still persevering with the ruby but yeah i just can't help but um get get slightly distracted by the shiny stuff so thanks once again for watching bye for now and i will catch you in a future video